How's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel for another 1-6 scale third-party review. Today we got from Toys Era the Oc, which is Dr. Octopus from the Spider-Man 2 movie. Remember, however, that this is an unlicensed release. Here it is the art box, pretty simple with just some design on the front of Dr. Octopus and on the sides with the mechanical tentacles. Here it is our figure in the first layer with some accessories and below there's another layer with even more accessories and with a display stand as well. We are going to take it all out and check them closely. Here we have all the accessories that come packed with this figure, the mechanical tentacles, the extra ends, the googles, the money bags and the display based, we are going to check them one by one. Starting off with these mechanical tentacles, which I think it's an accessory not only huge, it's made of plastic, a bit heavy, but the paint application and all the work detail they did on this, it's just mind-blowing. I was not expecting such a great work, such attention to detail. You can see inside the claws, all the details on this and the painting is just amazing. These claws can be bent a little. There are two kinds of claws. In this one we are seeing the first kind. There are two of this kind and there are two of other kind we will see later. The tentacles can be bent and move as you want. They are quite easy to move because they are all connected by ball joints. Totally that are I think 34 links all with ball joints. You can remove them and you can make your tentacles shorter or longer as you want. They are quite easy to remove with just a ball joint and then you can use them longer or shorter, also depending on the space you have to display your figure. Checking now the other variant of these tentacles. Basically, the tentacle is the same. It's just the claws that are different. These are like a paw claws. They are a bit different but they can be bent as well, so you can grab anything you want. In the end, it's just two variants of claws, but the detail and the painting in both of them is really amazing. I cannot praise enough Toys Era for this work, because for a third-party company it's not usual, it's not normal to see such a good work in an accessory, especially an accessory like this that is quite huge, and is not easy to produce for sure. And if you are a diehard fan of Dr. Octopus, you can always use these tentacles as a bracelet if you want. Taking a closer look now at our Googles, the Googles look pretty nice, they fit pretty well with the elastic band uh, so you can adjust in the Oc head. In the side you got some painting that looks nice, nothing special, but anyway they serve the purpose and portrayed very well Dr. Octopus Googles. We got then our money bags, four in totally. They are all stuffed inside, so it looks like they have a lot of cash. These are nice for display purpose, because you can use the claws of your tentacles to grab these money bags and it will look pretty cool. We got as well a bunch of gloved ends for any pose you want or any purpose, you got enough ends. Then we got our display stand, which is the normal one from Toys Era. Just say the Oc in the front, then you got some background with grey and black. And they supply as well this dynamic uh, uh, bracket so you can make your action poses. I'm not sure, because this bracket is quite heavy, I don't know if this display stand can handle it. Here it is our Oc straight out of the box, and regarding his height, you can see here near the Spider-Man Homecoming and the Spider-Man from Infinity War, they are all about the same size. Taking just a first quick look at uh, our figure, you can see the head scope looks pretty nice, pretty in line with what Toys Era show in their promo shots. Then you got the trench coat, also the inner coat inside, they all look nice, the quality and the coloring on it looks pretty nice. We are going to check them one by one in more detail, but now I'm just going to give you a quick look how it looks dressed and I'm going to take them out and check them one by one. Here it is a closer look at our head sculpt. It's pretty the same that Toys Era showed at the time they were promoting this figure. Looks pretty nice, I think is in line with the movie as well. The painting is nice, the eyes uh, expression looks pretty nice, the nose 
it's well done as well. I think for the head sculpt they really did a good job. I don't have much to complain because I also don't have any other figure to compare with. So for me I am pretty satisfied with the work they did on this head sculpt. Checking now the inner coat which is a sleeveless one made in this like pleather material with a lot of weathering into it that makes it look pretty pretty nice. It got a zipper inside as well, however you need to take care with the zipper because it isn't easy to work with. This is the inside of the coat, looks pretty nice, I really think they went over the board with the coloring and with the weathering of this coat, with all the details into it, I really like the work they did on this coat and I may use my figure only with this coat on. However, the color also looks nice and then you got wires all along the coat. In the down you got these wires that you can work with. The wires are pretty easy to work, they are not too hard to work with, they are pretty simple. And then you got wires also along the sides of the coat that you can use for even more poses. Then in the back of the coat you got these holes, that's where we'll enter the tentacles inside that will make it look really really cool. Taking a closer look now at the green trench coat which looks pretty nice in a much softer material than the previous one but it got some nice details like these stitching marks onto it, these huge uh, brown buttons in the front and then we got some wiring as well in this coat but only in the down part, the sides doesn't have any wire only the down part will have the wire and I think is more than enough. Then in the back side you got these stitching marks and the same holes so that as the tentacles can go in. These details on the holes look pretty pretty nice, pretty rough, pretty banged up. I think it's a very nice job made by Toys Era on these details. Overall this is a trench coat, looks pretty nice, the coloring, the weathering and everything on it. Taking a closer look now at the body of the Ock, as you can see Toys Era went with a completely customized body as the torso and the arms are not exactly the same color. However the plate is pretty well done and the inserts here on the back where will you install the tentacles are pretty well done, however they, all, they are all glued in, don't try to push it or they will probably break and then it will be a problem to fix. Then you got these cargo pants, the cargo pants are all padded inside so as to give a better look to our figure and this way they will not look so baggy or so messed up so I think this was a very good option made by Toys Era. Overall the body looks pretty nice, is a muscular body but this metal plate with these inserts in the back looks pretty well done, all the detail into it is top notch. Here is our Dr. Ock from Toys Era with his tentacles grabbing the money bags. For me Toys Era really exceeds my expectations, this figure, all the details from the clothing, the tentacles, everything on it makes this a must for any Spider-Man fan. That's all for today, I will see you in the next one.